Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, we're going live and baking bread because my family needs bread, and this is basically the only time of day that I have any free time right now. So, yeah. So, how's it going? What's what's going on, guys? It's finally a beautiful day. We've had a week and a half of rain, which is really good, but. Today is the first sunny, beautiful day. So my dad is cutting the grass. I'm baking bread. My mom is doing all kinds of stuff. The oven is preheated. We're like, we're going. Uh, and yeah, no pineapple today, Jay. You're safe. Hello, Ollie. Welcome. How are you guys doing? It's been raining here all day. Oh, I love the rain. I'm not even gonna pretend. I think the rain is the best. It's nice to have a sunny day once in a while, but I prefer the rain. So. Um, sorry. There we go. <laughs> Send your rain. Yeah, honestly. We needed the rain, though. It was, like, seriously needed. So. <laughs> Thank you. That's, uh, I think that's a compliment. <laughs> Add pineapple just because? Yeah, honestly, I should. Bread and pineapple. I don't know. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Um. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not this time. Maybe next time. Okay, so we're going to do four different loaves. One is going to be whole wheat. Three are going to be white bread. Basic, but whatever. Um. Yeah, that's the plan. Hey Paul, welcome. Uh, yeah, thank you for joining for a minute. Baking bread is honestly the best. You should make sourdough. <sighs> yeah, everyone's always like, oh, you need to make sourdough. But honestly, I don't find sourdough that delicious or that interesting. Um, and you have to do like a lot more work. Like this is very basic, which is nice because I don't have to do any of the extra steps of sourdough and it comes out just as good, in my opinion. Um, we're baking bread, Sally. Uh, do a pineapple and coconut bread for Hawaiian day. That sounds good. Thoughts on the missing submarine? Um, I really hope they find it. That's my thought. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, like, yeah, I know that there's like a bunch of rich people on it and um, Apparently, like, as of, like, an hour ago, they heard, like, a ping or something. So they think they might have found it, but they're not giving up hope. But we're getting, like, yeah, I don't know. It's super tense. It gives me anxiety, honestly. So I hope they find it. Uh, eat the rich. No, no, we do not. We do not cheer for the downfall of people. That's not fun. That's not okay. It's more water. Oh, Jesus. Did I just not use enough water in this? I don't know. Actually, I used a lot of extra flour, so that's probably why. Okay. So now, we've made our first bread, so now we got to let it rise. They're getting the full experience. Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, put your back into it. Honestly, just like really get in there. Uh, have you ever baked before? Yes, I bake all the time. Hello, El hello, yes, I am the Alberta boy. I'm wearing my hat today, one of my hats. Uh, you're adorable. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> That's so kind. Uh, yeah, so we're just doing the best we can, guys. Okay, now I just have to quickly wash this bowl, so I will be off camera for a moment. Going to Calgary Stampede, yeah, I will be at some point. Uh, some of the flour is on your hat. Yeah, it probably is. Uh, flour kind of gets ever. Have you baked before? Yes, I bake lots. Uh, wait, what kind of baking are you talking about? Uh, that depends. Love the hat and the shirts. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, one sec, guys. I will be right back. I'm just washing a bowl. Okay, 
Oke. That is bread number one. Now I gotta let it rise. You're so cute, thank you. What you baking? We're baking bread. Lose the hat and the shirts, lol. Uh, no, I'm not gonna lose them. Um, <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay, doing the next one. Okay, here we go, are you guys ready? Is that Halloween? No, you like my kitchen. Thank you, it's my parents' kitchen. Um, guys, I live on a farm, like this is just what I wear. Like, believe it or not, I'm not being like a cartoon character or something, like, this is my hat that I wear when I go to work all the time. Like, I just, this is what I wear. <laughs> this is it's not a costume. <laughs> I know it might look like one, but to some of you, but I live in cowboy country, so. Deal with it. And I'm just baking bread, so, you know. I was actually gonna come in here and mention how good you look in the red plaid and cowboy hat. Oh, thank you, I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, if you see this, tell me. I see you, Jay. Oh my gosh. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, if you see this, tell me. I see you, Jay. Oh my gosh. Bro thinks he's country on daddy's farm. <laughs> Uh, my farm is right next door to my dad's farm, so yeah, um, we, we have adjoining farms. Now we know why you're single. Why is that? Yeah, um, we, we have adjoining farms. Now we know why you're single. Why is that? Where is cowboy country? Alberta, Canada. Just outside Calgary. Well, not just outside Calgary, but you're very handsome. Thank you. I'm digging the outfit. Thank you. Uh, do you see Demon Slayer? No, I haven't. Is that the TV show on Netflix? I haven't seen it yet. Is it good? Should I watch it? I don't usually watch like kind of anime stuff like that normally, but if it's good, I'll watch it. Do you live with your parents? No. I got, <laughs> I bet, bet you got that acre for free boy. No. And there is not just one, there's a lot of acres. So Chris, Chris is being very uh, judgy. You judge me, judge me for my country life, just because I don't fit your stereotype of what a farmer should be. Is that it? Is that why, Chris? I'm curious. Bet you got those acres for a cheap price, boy. Oh, wow. We didn't pay any no fancy city prices for him, Chris. What do you have on your farm? We have crops, we have a tree nursery, so we grow lots of trees and stuff. And then we grow our own vegetables. I bake my own bread. Um... <laughs> I love it, Mike, thank you. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I think Chris was just being fun. He might he might stay on and then he can he can talk later, but if he's being Aggressive. What do I do for a living? Uh, I live on the family farm. My my dad, my brother, my mom, and I. Um, and then we also do property management. And I do the social media stuff too. That's what we do. Are you from Texas? No, I'm from Alberta, Canada. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm judging people for pineapple pizza. No, pineapple pizza is the best. Don't even. Pineapple pizza is literally the best thing on the planet. Uh, oh, you like the Gaga video. Okay, I'm glad. And I'm 100% deaf boy. Love that, honestly. Those videos were so much fun to make. I keep thinking of like new ideas for them and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I should have put that in. But the videos are made now, so. You're from Alberta, Canada too. That's so cool, e Miss Evans. Welcome. Welcome, 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 guys. Sorry, this part isn't exactly very exciting because I'm just kneeing the dough and turning it into something that's gonna be beautiful. But, just takes a while. 
My hands are sticking to this stuff. There we go. There we go. Sorry. Uh, pineapple pizza shouldn't exist. It's an abomination. No, guys, don't hate on my favorite. It's literally the best. You can look at the bread while I clean this bowl. Okay, we got the next one ready to go. That's the second one, da -da done. Let's be real, Jax. You're successful and people who aren't will be hateful. I mean, I don't know if I call myself successful, but haters are always gonna hate, right? I don't think Chris was hated, guys. I think Chris is just like hanging out. Oh, hello, other Chris. What's up, cowboy? Hello, howdy. How's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're baking bread. Baking bread and talking about life. Basically, all I do. You're so cute. Thank you, Ali. Uh, that's very kind of you. Um, yeah. yeah. At some point, it is going to get hot and I will take off the flannel, but it's not too hot yet because the oven's cooking. Baking, I guess. Well, no, I guess the oven is cooking, but I will be baking. How does that work? Sorry. Um, just like Goddess Tay Tay says, shake it off, shake it off. Exactly. Haters are going to hate, you know? Great. How are you? I'm doing really good, Chris. We are getting a whole bunch of jobs done. My family is doing all of the yard work right now, just around the house. Um, we haven't needed to be in the fields at all right now because it's been so rainy. So everything's just growing. The trees are doing really well. We planted a bunch of lilacs. Yeah, it's just going really good. So, you know, life's good. Yes, I am single. Jax, I miss you. Hey, Daniel, I'm going super early today, so it probably works out for you in the UK, hey? Like being this early, it's probably helpful. Uh, I miss you too. Wait, do you own a farm? Yes, so my brother and I have our own farm, which is attached to our parents' farm. Um, we bought it in 2019, and we have been farming ever since. But obviously my brother and I were raised on a farm and all four of my grandparents were farmers and they all came from farming families. So yeah, big time farm people. We had a pig farm once upon a time. I grew up on a pig farm. And it was, I loved it. My parents had to work like crazy long hours and it was just crazy. But for me, it was perfect because I didn't have to do a whole lot. Um, mostly right now we're doing just crops and vegetables and we have a tree nursery. So we're growing ash, elm, um, lodgepole pine, if you know that kind of tree. We're growing white birch. So yeah, we're growing a bunch of different trees. And we also do uh, black currants, like the berries. And yeah. And then I have a fruit orchard. But that's like, I, I only, I don't get many cherries and apples and stuff yet. Um, so yeah. Peter, thank you. That's so kind of you. The dogs are doing well. Lily woke me up this morning. She like jumped on my bed, which was kind of funny. But they are out enjoying the weather because it's finally not rainy and muddy. So the dogs can like go out and explore and they can live their best lives. So yeah, dogs are doing really well. Old MC Jax, <laughs> old Nick Jax had a farm. Oh my gosh, that's funny. I do, I did. Um, so yeah. And 
and my mom's family were cattle farmers. Cattle ranchers, sorry. And then sometimes we go up and we help my aunt's uncle because they still have a ranch with cows and stuff. Um, but I don't like cows that much. So, uh, respect, I admire farm life because you don't have the mental strength to do that every day. Oh, true, yeah, like you always have to go. Um, you always have to work. Hello, Daily Vids. Oh, I'm from Alberta, Canada. Uh, I mean, at least your food isn't toxic with old cows. Yeah, it's true. Sorry, Blake, I missed your comment and I can't like scroll up right now because my hands are all dirty. So I apologize. Why are we talking about our dogs? No, I have two dogs named Julia and Lily. Your cows are small, son. Oh, hello again, Chris. Welcome back. <laughs> Chris, you are quite funny, actually. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. You're kind of a funny guy. Your cows are small, son. Yeah, I, I don't actually have any cows for anybody asking. You named your feet. <laughs> no, no, Julia is a husky and Lily is a sheep dog. I've always wanted sheep and goats. I really want goats. I want goats so bad. Okay. Here's the third one. be your cow. <laughs> Goats are the best animals ever. Honestly, I agree. I think they're amazing. Uh, to raise, to milk, and to eat. True. Orangutan, best animal. Orangutan? Like an orangutan? Are you excited for the Barbie movie? Uh, I haven't actually seen anything for the Barbie movie. It's not really like my thing, you know? Um, like I might watch it if my friends all want to go to it, but uh, no, I don't want to hear a racist joke. I'm sorry. So to be honest, did you miss us? Yes, I did miss you guys. Honestly, you guys have been always like the best part of my day. So like, of course I missed you. Thank you for the crown also. Um, and the rules. You guys are way too kind. Okay, final bread, a USA country heartthrob. Okay, good, well, maybe I was going for that a little bit, but I wasn't, but that's very kind of you to say. Thank you. You missed my comment twice, I'm sorry. Oh, gee, okay, yeah, sorry. How many oysters died for that necklace, bro? <laughs> I don't know, probably a bunch of them, but, Animals sometimes have to die for us to live. And I'm very appreciative. I don't even know if these are real uh, pearls, actually. So the hat really does suit your look really good. Thank you, Blake. I appreciate that. I really imagine being your boyfriend without ever meeting you. That's okay. I like that. That's awesome. Uh, that's such a compliment. I really think, like, thank you. I'm moving a friend to Airdrie next week from BC. Oh, that's so cool. I have only ever driven through Airdrie. Um, it's kind of like on the opposite side of Calgary from me. So I only drive through it when I'm going to like Edmonton or something. Basically. Uh, how could you, man? What? Oh, with uh, the oysters, you mean. Bacon, yes, Christian. Uh, you have such a gorgeous smile. Thank you. Her and her husband bought a house there. That's so cool. I know a lot of people from BC moving to Alberta. Hey. 
I think it's like kind of the thing right now. Like lots of people from BC are moving to Berga. Because that BC is so expensive. It's like, why would you live in BC? But I do love Vancouver. BC is too expensive. Yeah. Living in most gorgeous man alive. No, stop. That's way too kind. Thank you. If we have to die for the population to stand under control, an oyster can die for fashion. <laughs> okay, amazing. Uh, thank you for the shell. Finally reached 1K. Uh, what do you mean, Christian? Hello, Elmer. We're making bread. We are making bread today. Because my family needs bread and they keep being like, when are you going to bake bread? I'm like, okay, I'll do it today. So this is why we're here. This is why we're here. Okay, I'm going to have to get super messy right now because there's only one way to mix this bread properly. Gosh, you got to get really involved. Where are you from? I'm from Alberta, Canada. Hello from Germany. Guten Tag. Thank you, Mike. And thank you for everybody following. That's so kind of you. Um, I try to do these things regularly. I'm doing them more regularly. I did one two days ago and I did one today. So it hasn't been awful this week so far. But ideally, I try to do these four days a week. Has that happened for a month? No. Jokes aside, living the dream, bro. For real. Just baking bread. Got his own farm right next to the farm, fam. Honestly, I'm 26 years old. Your German is good. Ah, danke. My German is not good, but um, I'd love to learn German. I speak Norwegian. Do you ever feel like a fish stick? Because I do. I just want to be bathed and swim. <laughs> what? <laughs> Legendary. Gee, take it away. What? <clears throat> uh, are you in a cowboy mode? Um, basically just the whole summer, you know, cowboy hats are just like, they're practical. Like they keep the sun out of your eyes. They keep your neck from getting too burnt. You know, they're just good hats. I've got like four or five of them. I want, I want to try to bake bread. Baking bread is so much fun. You should. Cute hat. Love the light necklace. Thank you so much. Are you able to see my comments? Yes, Daily Vid. Why are you so cute? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm that cute. Oh, do you look so much younger. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Most people do not think that I'm 26. Especially when I shave. When I shave, I look like I'm 16. When are you coming to visit the, us in the UK? I'm definitely coming in October. I might come sooner than that, depending on some stuff. I have a pool I can go to. Oh, that's amazing. You're very cute. Thank you, Daily Biz. Yeah, sorry, I just have to clean this bowl. I'll be right back. Now they just have to rise, and then once they're risen, we can bake them. You are so cute. Guys, stop. Uh, you look like you're 21. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That's kind of the vibe I try to go for. Um, I just try and live healthy, and who knows? Maybe one day I will look like I'm 55 when I'm actually like 25. How many breads will you bake? We're going to do four bread. Um, it's stressful. One of those dials on the oven isn't at the same position as the rest. Yeah, the reason it's not is because it's the oven one. So that's the one that's turning the oven on. Um, yeah, you don't look a day over 20, if I'm being honest. Guys, he's hyping me up so much. Do I attend the Calgary Stampede? Yes, I have my tickets and I'm excited to go. Are you the family baker? Yes, I am. My, my whole family doesn't really enjoy baking. I do all the baking, um, which is okay because I love it. 
You look a cowboy of 21 years. <laughs> Thank you. That's that's very kind. Uh, you guys are very sweet. Okay. This is perfection. Boom. Uh, my oven is more there for show than for use. <laughs> I will marry you someday. I love, I love that. Are you into guys or gals? I'm into everybody. Um, they say that gay men age better than straight men. I hope so. <laughs> or somebody like you. Oh, that's so sweet. I still haven't moved past turning it on. <laughs> Honestly, no, he told me. Dan told me that he was baking and cooking now. He's using it sometimes. He, he like learned how to turn it on. Can I say save a horse and ride a cowboy? <laughs> a lot of people say it, but I like it. Uh, I think I have an Instagram post where I said it on it there too. Uh, no, I'm currently single. Hi, if you could give a tip to young gays, what would it be? Um, come out when you're ready and be prepared to come out all the time. I came out to somebody for the first time two days ago who didn't know I was gay. Um, and it was like a whole thing. And I've been out for like almost six years. You're gorgeous. Thank you, Justin. I actually posted uh, a, a YouTube video today on my coming out story. It's like 20 minutes. It's on my YouTube channel. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in my like whole story of like how I figured out I was gay and how I came out and everything, um, you can go watch my YouTube video. I feel like I come off really immature when I comment sometimes. I'm sorry. No, you don't. It's fun. I like it. Uh, are you still retired from dating? I I'm not dating currently. I'm on no dating apps. I'm not talking to anybody. So yeah, basically I'm still retired from dating. <laughs> uh, you're very sexy looking. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say. Man, I take you out to a nice dinner. What would we have? What is your like go-to dinner? Because I... I really want sushi, actually. I might get sushi tomorrow. Uh, I will have to do that later. Yeah, you do. Move to Ontario and I'll date you. I have always wanted to visit Ontario. I subscribe and I'm waiting for another video. Yes, yeah, I've, I'm hoping to like be a lot more regular with my YouTube stuff. Um, I've got some more ideas and some more like longer form videos that I've got ideas for. Cause like TikTok is great cause you can do like three minute videos if you want, but sometimes you want to do longer, right? Um, were your family and friends very supportive of you sexually? Yes. Yeah. They were totally fine. I come from like an atheist family. So none of us are religious. Um, I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious. And I know some people kind of cringe when people say that, but it's just true. So yeah, when I came out, it was very good. Everybody was so accepting and yeah, life has been really good since. Can I come over and cuddle with you? That would be so sweet. I almost sent you a sad video. No, don't send me sad videos. Only send me the really happy ones. You send me some really good ones. I'm open-minded. Aw, lasagna. Lasagna is so good. Your voice is so calming. Thank you. That's really kind. Um, sorry if I like suddenly yell or something. Um, hello from Guam. I've always wanted to go to Guam. I think it'd be so cool. Thank you for the heart. You guys are so sweet. And the roses. OMG, I'm so happy you're doing a live stream during my lunch. Oh, that's amazing. I'm glad I caught you. My grandmother always knew I was gay. Yeah, my 90-year-old grandfather was totally fine when I came out as gay. He was, like, totally good with it. Um, all four of my grandparents were so accepting. Greetings from South Africa. Hello, welcome. Where can I send you videos? Uh, you can send me them on TikTok, mostly. Um... Sylvain, hello from Montreal. Hello, how's it going? How is life? What kind of guys do I date? I date everybody. I just kind of fall in love with people after I get to know them. I don't explicitly like dating because I kind of like just like meeting somebody and being their friend and then I fall in love with them. And that's usually what happens. Um, you should come through. I'll take you on a tour. I would love to. Ontario just seems like so cool. I really do love your positive energy. Thank you so much. I figure you gotta be positive and happy because anything else is just wasting your day, you know? Um, you could spend your whole day worrying and 
fretting and being scared or getting angry. Or you could just shrug it all off and be like, no, I'm going to have a good day. And that's what I'm going to do. Davin says, hi, daddy. <laughs> Hello. I'm the opposite. I fall first. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it takes me a long time to fall in love. But once I'm in love, uh, it's forever. Like, I, I love you forever. There's no, um, there's no getting out of it. <laughs> Hi from Vegas. Hello, welcome. I'm so sad because my whole family is homophobic and being the only gay one is so exhausting. I'm so sorry to hear that. I feel like I got really lucky because I had a cousin who came out as lesbian way before I even knew I was gay. And so I basically knew that my family would be totally fine with me coming out because she had been out for like three years. I found a new TikTok channel and the guy is very attractive. Oh my gosh, where are you from? I'm from Alberta, Canada. Hi from the Philippines. Hello. I'd say come visit San Diego, South Dakota, but honestly avoid the Midwest in the US if you can. I really want to visit the US and especially the Midwest because I feel like it's very similar to Alberta. I know, right? I'm going through a storm with my job and stay positive. Yeah, you just got to stay positive. Honestly, sometimes work is so frustrating, but you just got to power through it. Love you, Jax. Thank you so much, Ray. Uh, why do I, why do I can fall so easily? I don't know. Some people fall in love really easily and some people it takes them a long time. You have a nice smile. Thank you, Davin. <laughs> Not the pit stains. Yeah, it's hot. Whatever. Get over it. Uh, I'm obsessed with the hat. Thank you. I got it in a bougie thrift shop. Um, and they had no idea that it was an original Stetson. So it was for $44 Canadian. And this hat is probably worth like four or $500 Canadian. So I was really happy. Uh, you make me feel happy. Good, I'm glad. Also, are you guys ready to start baking the bread? Cause I think it's basically ready. Um, we're basically gonna do it. Usually I like to prep the bread and let it rise for like two or three hours but I'm not gonna be on live stream for two or three hours, so we're just gonna bake it right now. Loads of people love to get jacks. Hot and sweaty, so don't come, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we're baking bread. I'd say Minnesota is your best bet, Midwest specifically, Twin Cities. I've always wanted to visit Canada. It's beautiful. Uh, why there? I feel like they're nicer. But I think it'd be cool. Um, yes, we're baking bread right now. My man is going through a personal issue and haven't talked to him in a few weeks. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you tried reaching out and just being like, hey, how are you doing? Whenever you're ready. <laughs> you're in Canada? Yes, I'm Canadian. It's making me crazy. Please fill my body. Just kidding. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, honestly, you look cute without a beard. Thank you. Most people really prefer me with a beard, which is fine. I don't mind. But I personally prefer not having a beard. Hello, Diana. Welcome. I haven't seen you in forever. Oh, how are you doing, girl? Uh, hello there, stranger. What's your favorite kind of bread to make? I really like making this cinnamon raisin bread. It's really good. I should have made one, but I forgot. What's your, uh, yeah. Hi, how is your day going? Hope it's going great. Yes, it's going really good, Drew. So far, it's going great. I miss you too, Diana. Hello, Tyler. Welcome. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna put the bread in the oven now, but he won't answer me. That's no good. Um, okay, it's been a minute. It really has. Yes, I am single. Okay. Ooh. There's one. There's two. Three, four. Okay, so how this works is these are called Dutch ovens and they bake bread really well. But they're really hot. So now I gotta be careful not to burn myself. So we take the bread and just pop it in.
Sorry guys. You never know what's gonna happen. Okay. So this one is gonna go in here, like this. Okay. So this one is gonna go in here, like this, sort of. And this one, going in there, like that. And then we put the lids back on, and then we bake them for 20 minutes. For 20 minutes, so at 2.50. Um, yeah, exciting stuff, sorry. One sec, guys, sorry. Okay, sorry, it was getting very hot, so um, I decided just to lose the shirt and wear the sweater. So, uh, yeah. Why so much bread? Did you read the recipe wrong again? No, uh, we usually do four loaves. Man, I look really sweaty, don't I? Um, it's fine, it's hot in here. I told you it's gonna get hot in here. Um, and then we put some of them in the fridge or the freezer. What are your thoughts about Taylor not coming to Canada? I think she's going to come to Canada, but she's gonna announce it later. Um, <clears throat> always here to advise if I can help, honestly. <laughs> uh, love the sweatpants, turn around again. <laughs> Absolutely not. Wow, the change. <laughs> My positive energy is on a celestial level. I feel you and I vibe. Oh, that's so amazing. Thank you, Alva. Av Avalon? That's such a cool name. Um, you should charge in front of us. You should change in front of us. No. <laughs> My favorite album on the Taylor Swift is a 1989. That's my favorite album. Come see Taylor in the UK. I think I look like Shane Dawson, which I don't necessarily love, but I've never gotten Tyrone Edgerton, so thank you. I appreciate that. You think Lana is better than Taylor? I love Lana Del Rey, but Taylor Swift, I, I like her more. I'm loving the fit, the hair, everything. Thank you, I appreciate that. Why is this man so comforting to listen to? God, that is like, guys, you're really, literally like making my whole day. That is so kind of you to say. Thank you again for speaking out for the OG LGBT community. I hate ageism. I hate when people put down people just because they get older. Um, I think it's so inappropriate to be rude to people just because of their age. So it just, it's one of like my like pet peeves. Um, so thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, thank you as well. My name comes from the legend of King Arthur. Oh yeah, of course, Avalon. That's so cool, I love that. Uh, what do you think about Doja Cat? I really like Doja Cat. I think she's got some really good music. Um, I was listening to her newest song recently um, and I really liked it. My top three artists are Taylor, Ed Sheeran, and Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne is so underrated. Um, I used to listen to Skater Boy on repeat. I had like a little Walkman um, and I just would listen to over and over and over. Attention is the shit. It is so good, honestly, it is so good. Ah, <laughs> oh, guys, I saw both Pink and Harry Styles in concert last week. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. I would love to see, actually, I'd love to see both of them. I was gonna say, I'd love to see Pink in concert, but Harry Styles would be really cool too, honestly. Um, yeah, for anyone who's just joined, we're baking bread um, and we're going to look at it in 15 minutes when it's baked. Uh, oof, I gotta go, hope to see you on live again. Otherwise I'll slide into your Instagram DMs. Sounds good, Avalon. Thank you for joining. Pink is amazing in concert. She's got one of the highest grossing concert tours of all time. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that until recently. She played us all with her I'ma Make It Rap album. I mean, she ate. I love that. My favorite song by Avril is My Happy Ending. So much for my happy ending. That's such a good song. Uh, that's such a good song to listen to while it's raining, you know? It was amazing. She bungee jumped off the top of the stage when she entered. Oh my gosh, amazing. 
Uh, I can tell you have one of the most beautiful hearts. That is so kind. Thank you, Nutella. Nutella croissant. I love your username. <laughs> Why is your nose red? My nose is just always red. Um, I don't put enough sunscreen on it. Um, so yeah, that's why it's red. <laughs> hey, Nolan, I'm doing well. We're baking bread. We're hanging out. Who's my famous crush? Blake Lively, Sean Mendez, and Taylor Swift. <laughs> I'm so vanilla. Um, the flannel is amazing. Thank you. Who's Avril? Avril Lavigne. She's a singer. She's amazing. Do you have a cowboy boyfriend? No, I do not. I am cowboy single. Yeah, you look so happy and lovely like a quokka animal. I love the quokkas. They're so, they're so cute. Thank you. Love me some Avril. Fun fact, I was actually eating a Nutella croissant when I made that. That makes sense. I love it. I didn't ask, did you get the gym creep sorted? Or by, and by sorted, I mean punched. No, I didn't see him again, but I'm like kind of scared to go back now. I went to the gym this morning and I didn't see him. So I was like, okay, this is good. But I was a little bit on edge. Um, I wanna go see Pink, I just want people to go with. Honestly, that'd be so good. I hope, sorry. I hope you're having a beautiful day and I hope the bread comes out beautifully. Yes, I hope so. Wait, you're, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm bisexual. Yeah, I got a little burnt last week, but I tan after the burn. Me too. We share Sean. Okay, that's fair. Fun fact, Ed Sheeran is actually my celebrity crush. That's so cool. My cousin went to school with Ed Sheeran. Um, they went to the same music college. They were in the same class too. Oh, you should be cowboy taken. <laughs> I know. Don't be scared. No, never. No, I'm not scared. I'm just like, I'll be like ready for a fight, honestly. I'm sorry I had to deal with the gym creep. Yeah, it was so creepy. I was changing and I like realized like, like out of the corner of my eye that this guy was like taking photos of me and stuff. And I was just like, this is so creepy. I've watched Heartstoppers. I love Heartstoppers. I've never watched Glee. What stone is hanging from the pearls? Uh, it's amber. It's amber. So it's an amber pendant on the pearl necklace. Uh, if no one wants to go, go alone. Deny it. Don't deny it. Yeah, I agree. What zodiac sign are you? I'm a Virgo. You're going to make someone so happy one day. You're so kind. <laughs> You're so sweet. Honestly, I think I've been kind of like, like the last few months, I've kind of been obsessed with like, like my life's been like going really well, but I've just really wanted somebody to like share it with. And like, I've been so hung up on that and like so like crazy about it that I haven't really been living my life properly. And so now I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna live my life. And if somebody joins my life, then awesome, you know? Um, yeah, you have a baby face. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I think that's a compliment, but thanks. <laughs> Marcos, hey, how's it going? Nikki or Cardi? God, don't ask me that. I love both. If I had to, if you put in a gun to my head and was like, who do you choose? It would be Nicki Minaj, but I love Cardi B so bad. Um, beautiful, thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a really cute necklace, I really like it. I actually made it out of two different necklaces. Uh, I'm watching your coming out video right now. Well, I hope you like it. And please feel free to like leave a comment or like a question or anything. You have beautiful hair. Thank you. That's so kind, Nick. Your necklace isn't a hint at supporting Amber Heard, is it? No, no, it's not. Um, sorry. <laughs> you've never watched Glee, girl. You've not been living under a rock. I know. It just wasn't really my thing. I wish to meet someone who looks like you and fall in love with him. That's so, so sweet. Thank you. Sorry, I just had a bit of a stroke. You're a Virgo too, when is your birthday? September 3rd is my birthday. It will happen. Yeah, exactly, it will. Me having a crush on Ed after getting into his music and watching interviews got me to accept that I like guys. Yeah, that's fair. Barbs unite. Honestly, why wasn't I as smart as you are when you were age about dating? Honestly, yeah, I've just like pushed dating to the side and I'm gonna focus on my life and my health and my family and it'll work itself out. Uh, you must watch only for Blaine. Is that uh, like a really good character in Glee? Um, you could always just stick to sharing your life with us instead. Honestly, yeah, I prefer that anyway. The culture, it's for the culture. <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. Oh, you guys, you guys are amazing, honestly. Like I, I can't, I can't over exaggerate 
that when I do these lives, usually I'm like having like a rough day or like something's happened or I'm just like, oh, I'm so tired. And then I do these lives and you guys like hype me up. You make me feel good. Like, honestly, you guys are amazing. So like, don't, you guys hype me up a lot, but like you guys are amazing people too, okay? Um, and you guys like honestly make my day. Um, yeah, I try and answer everyone's questions. Um, I think if you guys take the time to write a question or write a comment, I'm gonna read it. So yeah, absolutely, Tommy. Um, he's the best gay character. Oh, okay, Blaine is a gay character in, in Glee. Okay, I got it. I'm nosy, I wanna hear about your life. <laughs> no, I'm happy to share. Just watched your coming out video and thought it was great. You're a lovely smile. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, it was it was really fun to like, I don't know, relive telling my coming out story and putting it on YouTube and I don't know, it's kind of fun. Uh, if I wasn't in Australia, I'd be wanting to meet you. Yes. I'd love to go to Australia, honestly. Beyonce or Gaga? Again, I love both of them, but if I absolutely had to, it'd probably be Gaga. But both are so good. Uh, what up? Hey, Rick, we're breaking bread. Blaine was your awakening? Oh my gosh, maybe I do have to watch Glee. How do you know you were different, if I may ask? I didn't know I was different until I was about 19 years old. And then I realized. Um, and so it was quite a big change. Um, if you want like the full story, I do have it on YouTube, on my YouTube channel. I have the full 20 minute explanation of like everything. Um, and I go into like a lot of details. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. I'm glad we can hype you up since you hype us up and make us, oh my gosh, Joe, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, Harry man, <laughs> you're gorgeous. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, boy, that smile is absolutely killer. Is it weird? I just want to give you a big hug. No, I want to hug all of you guys. You guys are so genuine and you're so real. Um, I'll send you the video of the new TikTok channel. Yes, please do. My awakening was Victor. Is Victor, Victor must be another character from Glee, I'm assuming. Uh, hey, gorgeous people, how's it going? Hey, Kai, it's going well, it's going good. Um, we're baking bread, we've got eight minutes and then we're gonna check on the bread. So I'm just hanging out, but we are, I am actually doing something. I'm not just like talking to everyone. I love talking to you guys, but I am doing something as well. Abby, hello, welcome. Doja Cat is just a lot of controversy. I like Doja Cat. I know she's got like a lot of controversy, but so does everybody. Have you watched Love, Victor? I've watched the first season of Love, Victor. Um, yeah, and that was a really good show actually. Blaine doesn't show up till later on though. Oh, okay. Homemade bread is the best. I agree. What's something you're passionate about? I'm really passionate about baking. I'm passionate about my farm and fitness. I'm super passionate about the gym. I love reading. Um, yeah, I think I'm passionate about a lot of things, honestly. Uh, you must say you like the fit. Thank you, I appreciate that. Victor, no, he also another cultural moment spinoff to Love, Simon. Yes, I've heard that. I, I liked Love, Simon, and, and the first, I've, I've only watched the first season of Love, Victor, but it was really good. Uh, Heartstoppers was my awakening. The new season's coming out soon. The hat is fire. Thank you. You're such a sweet guy. I love how confident you are. Oh, <laughs> thank you guys, you're so sweet. Holy smokes, thank you, John. I really appreciate that. What did you think of Baba getting a phone thrown in her face? I think that was so rude. And the guy said, yeah, he thought it would be funny. That's like, ugh. And you see, like, she's like, she got like really hurt by that. I thought that was so rude. A total package. <laughs> uh, what do you work and do for a living? So, sorry, I'm gonna turn this down because it's kind of loud. Um, I'm a farmer, a property manager, and I do the social media stuff too. So yeah, I've actually just started, um, I've started like a Patreon page and I haven't like hyped it up a whole lot, but like my plan for the Patreon page is to be able to like, like I love these live streams being able to talk to all of you, but I, I like talking to you guys one-on-one -on -one as well. So I started the Patreon page in order to like be able to talk to people every day. And I want to be like very active on it and have like a community. So that's kind of my goal. And now he's getting four felony charges. Good, you shouldn't throw a phone at somebody. That's so rude. Do you listen to Carol G? I don't think I have. 
Poor Bebe. She's so sweet. I know. Have you read the book that Love, Simon was based off of? No, I haven't. Is it good? Apparently last night as well, someone slapped Ava Max. What the heck is going on? This is ridiculous. People need to stop, like, attacking people. I love your videos. Please send a kiss to Portugal. Oh, my love to Portugal. Um, thank you so much for being here. I would love to visit Portugal. Uh, are you older or younger than me? I'm 23 years old. I'm older than you. Big Brother USA is starting in August. Everybody always says that I should do Big Brother, but I have no idea how that all works. Um, and I don't think I would be very good at it. <laughs> Cowboy Jack, damn. Thank you. Uh, I'm excited for that. Love your posts. Thank you so much, Greg. I really appreciate that. You're so incredibly genuine. It's beautiful. Guys, guys, you're so sweet. In my opinion, the movie did not do the books justice. Yeah, they rarely do. A book, a book is usually way better than the movie or the TV show or whatever. The only exception I would say is I read The Summer I Turned Pretty and I think the TV show is better than the book. I genuinely think that. You slapped Ava, do they got a death wish? Honestly, I was gonna guess you're about 26 or 27. Yes, I'm 26 years old. Shoe size, I think I'm a 12. I got big feet. It's interesting too. It's grown men attacking these young women on stage. Try it on a dude. Honestly, yeah, they're they're like they think they they can get away with it. It's like unacceptable. It's really gross. I'm not a fan of these people. Ava's fans are crazy. Yeah, they're gonna be very upset after this. What type of books do you typically read? I usually read like classical literature. Um, so I've read some like Dostoevsky. I've read Charles Dickens. Um, Jane Austen, like I, I really like all those kinds of things. Um, Jane Austen, like I, I really like all those kinds of things. Um, and then like George Orwell, some science fiction stuff. I read a lot of, I like, I, I don't read a lot, but I read quite a bit of the like, um, there's a bunch of stuff like that, but usually it's classical literature. Uh, can we be friends? I'm Canadian. Absolutely, Marina. Which type of bread are you baking? We're doing one whole wheat and three white bread. Taylor's stage is so damn big, no one would even get close. I know, and she's got like protection. I think Ava's gonna be on rep, Taylor's version. Yeah, they were saying, they were thinking that there was stuff like that. You should come to visit Vegas. I would love to visit Vegas. My favorite song, my favorite song of all time is probably New Romantics by Taylor Swift. And then I actually found this new song. It's called Church by Jelly Roll. And it's really good. It's a really good song. Do you have your own company? Um, technically, yes. Yeah. I work for my dad's company. And then the family farm doesn't have like its own company thing. And then the social media stuff is its own thing. Neuromantics is so good. I love it so much. I'll buy you dinner. If I come to Vegas? Okay, well, maybe I'll have to come to Vegas. Depends on what we're going to have for dinner, though. Uh, you know? Never heard of it. It's really good. If you ever find yourself in Melbourne, I'd love to show you around. My friend just moved to Melbourne, so I want to visit. Uh, hello from Orlando. Hello, Chris. How's it going? Welcome. Good to see you. <laughs> What's my favorite Gaga song? Hmm. That's a tough one. My favorite Lady Gaga song? I am a bit of a sucker for Poker Face. Uh, yeah, there's a few. I'm just gonna say Poker Face, but some of her, her like, her stuff from like four or five years ago, I really like. My favorite food is pineapple. Sorry, sorry, Jay. Hello. We have so many opinions, it's up to you. Options, it's up to you. Okay, well, I love that. What's your watch? Uh, it's a Tommy Hilfiger. Here, how do I show this like properly? <laughs> yeah, it's just a Tommy Hilfiger quartz something rather. Uh, yeah. I don't wear it that much, but I really like it. Do you like my hat? Thank you. Uh, my icon, I love you so much. Oh, thank you. That is so, that is so incredibly kind. Mine's I'll Never Love Again. Oh, that's a good one. 
I'm having Costco ribs for dinner tonight. Oh, that sounds good. Hey, haven't watched your lives in a while. Yes, I know, I've finally been back on. Um, we're baking some bread and we actually need to check on it. So we're gonna have a look right now. You can't wear a watch like that while farming, surely. No, I don't wear it while I'm farming. I wear it um, usually when I'm out. Um, when I'm out and about. <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, I just had a moment there, one sec. Okay, we need to check the bread. So. Yep. There you go, guys. That's that's what bacon bread does for you. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Um, my favorite musical artist is Taylor Swift. You're so genuine. Uh, you don't let the clout. Yeah, no, no. I would never let like any like clout um, kind of affect me or anything. How do you check bread? Okay, I'll show you. So basically, when the bread comes out, I can't hold it for very long because it's very hot, but you hear that kind of echo sound? That means that the bread isn't like gooey inside. So that means it's cooked. Um, farms and bakes, yes. Uh, wardrobe change, uh, what did I miss? I changed because it got so hot. So I just took off the shirt and I kept the flannel. So that's what I did. Uh, I'm not trying to fall in love, shame on you. <laughs> uh, Afterglow is my song. Afterglow is one of my best friend's favorite song is Afterglow. I'm still looking for a pendant for my pearl necklace. Ah, oh, honestly, yeah, it's it's hard to find one that like just fits you, but once you do, like it's just the great. Do you like real butter? Yes, I don't use margarine. I only use butter because butter is the best. And thank you for the rose. That's really kind. All right. Okay. This is one of the white breads. It's looking pretty good, hey. Legit thought you look amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oven mitts are just so cute. I know, <laughs> me and my little farm farm cowboy hat. And <laughs> Looks a bit funny. Okay. Yeah. That's hot. That's a wee bit, wee bit hot. Okay, so that's one, that's two, and now we check on the other two. Are you on the Kylie Minogue Padam Padam love trend? Um, not really. Okay, this this is probably my most controversial. Hey Cameron, how are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, yes, I am Canadian. Um, the way you said A, <laughs> I like your hat, thank you. Okay, so Kylie Minogue. For for every anyone in North America, you probably don't know, but Kylie Minogue is this singer and she thinks that she is like amazing. Like she thinks that she is like, like I, I watched her on Graham Norton once and she came off as so big headed and I had never heard of her before because what people in the UK and Australia don't know is that Kylie Minogue is virtually unknown in all of North America. Like if you're, if you're in North America right now and you've never heard of Kylie Minogue, just like say in the comments, like, yeah, I never heard of her because most people in the UK think that she is just like one of the biggest artists of all time, but she's genuinely not like, and like when I watched her on this interview, she was so big headed and like self-assured and cocky. Um, so she just really like sent the wrong message. So I really don't like Kylie, but, um, but if you're American, you don't know who she is. She's massive over here. Yeah, she's she's huge. She is absolutely massive in the UK and Australia. But I've I never like I I have two British parents and a British family. And now I've lived in Canada for most of my life. And I didn't hear about Kylie until I was probably like 23 years old. And then I watched her on this interview and she came off as just like she did not come off well in this interview. Um Yeah. Yeah. No. And she's got this new song, Padam Padam, which it's not bad. It's not my, it's not my thing, but I don't know. It's, it's her first big hit in 10 years. So that should tell you like a little bit about, um, we're talking about Kylie Minogue. Um, so yeah, Diana, I don't know if you know her or not, but she made a point of saying she's not particularly fussed about being big in America to be fair to her. Yeah. But honestly, like she would say that because she's just not, she's not, interesting you know she's not I, I like if you like her i'm sorry like i'm sorry if, to anybody that loves kylie minogue but i don't like her um 
Yeah. She's not really my cup of tea, unfortunately. Okay. Okay, so the other two are being cooked in Dutch ovens, which means that they need like a few minutes to dry out in the oven. Um, so yeah, Diana, thank you so much for the heart. Lost connection for a while, lol. Battling with my Walmart Wi-Fi. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, you like dream kind of. Yes, I get that a lot. Um, what are you cooking? We're cooking bread. Oh, Julia, I swear she sounds like... Leah Kate. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Honestly, same about Lana Sands. Uh, it's part of life, UK law to like Kylie. Julia! Sorry, my dog is... What? What? Yeah, yeah, you're lovely. You're lovely. What's wrong? Good girl? She's very demanding. What? What? Anyway, um, sorry. <sighs> okay, uh, her Glastonbury is the most watched ever. Wow. Fun fact, in Germany, we really often eat bread. Interesting. How do you feel about people hating on Taylor for writing songs about her exes? Um, people hate on Taylor Swift for writing songs about her exes, but literally every musician ever has always written songs about their exes. So Taylor Swift is just the only one that gets hate for it. Um, so yeah. Did you have lunch already or the bread will be part of it? Yes, the bread will be part of it. You're an Arianator. I love Ariana Grande. Popper, this is, that was Julia. I don't know where the other one is. She's probably getting into trouble. What do you think about Lana Del Rey music? I really like her music. Um, I know she's super controversial, but I like Lana Del Rey's music. I'm gonna steal your dog. <laughs> she's very antisocial. So you, you can have a, you might have a hard time stealing her, but you can try. Uh, you're so cute. Thank you, Cameron. That's really kind of you. <laughs> Breakups make some of the best songs. I agree. Uh, Taylor gets hate because she's a woman. Exactly. You never hear like, you never hear Ed Sheeran getting hate for writing songs about his exes or the Jonas Brothers or Justin Bieber, you know? So I don't know. I think she should write about what she feels just like every singer does. That's my, that's my two cents on it. Uh, Lucas, hey, what's up? Hey, we have baked some bread. I'll show you some of it. So this is a loaf, a loaf of bread. Um, we've done four of them and we're just waiting on two of them in the oven. Um, okay, wait. Is your home walking distance from the home you're in right now? Yes, yeah, it's just down the road. My parents and I are neighbors. Um, how can I privately chat with you? Um, I have Patreon and that is basically completely set up for like one-to-one -one talking. Patreon is gonna be like my um, community thing where I can talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one and we can just chat back and forth. I wanna be super um, active on it. So that's that's how I would do it. Uh, so is mine, well trade them. <laughs> Um, Gaga was my first concert and she actually acknowledged me. I was like, the queen acknowledged me. That's amazing. Ah, oh, I would love that. Ariana was my first and only concert. I haven't been to many. I've been to Shawn Mendes twice, Alicia Cara, Carly Rae Jepsen, uh, Mariana's Trench. I went to Blue Man Group. That was fun. Uh, Patreon, you're gonna be exhausted. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to talking to people. So I love your eyes. Thank you. Have you been to the UK? Yes. Yeah. My parents are from the UK. Uh, I have dual citizenship and I've lived over there. So I've spent lots and lots of Christmases and summers over there. And um, my first concert was Rihanna when she had the red hair. Oh, I love that. I want to see Taylor in concert. Me too. So bad. OMG. I love Alicia. She was amazing. She was so impressive. Alicia Cara. She blew me away. Like, she was so impressive. Uh, I miss Alicia. Oh, I know. I want to go see her again. Okay. These, these are done. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to grab this this way. Pull that out. Okay, 
I'll show you that one in a second. I have to get the other one out. Put both on. Boom. Okay. I saw Taylor on the Red Tour and Reputation. I'm jealous. Garth Brooks was my first concert. I think my mom's first concert was Garth Brooks. Showed my mom Tay Tay songs, explained to her a few dramas, and she was like, why she only writes about her exes? Oh my gosh. Alicia Cara is incredible. Her last album makes me feel things, and she's so sweet too. I agree. I love when things go wrong in the kitchen and it turns on me. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, your first concert was Jonas Brothers? That's so cool. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. This is the bread. Sorry, I'm not showing it very well. Doesn't it look nice? <laughs> um, I'll show you the other one in a second. I gotta deal with these because they're so hot right now. Hey guys, looks amazing. Thank you. Uh, you look super cute cooking. Thank <laughs> you. That's so cool. That's so sweet. Okay, so as I said before, the way you check if bread is made good. Hear that? That means it's good. Mm, I love bread so much. I am a big fan of bread. I really want to try making gluten-free bread. It's giving chef, honestly. I can't help but smiling watching your lives. Thank you, Tyler. That is so kind of you. I'm, I'm glad the, the lives bring people joy because they bring me joy. It's looking really good. Are you really a farmer? Yes, yeah, I live on a farm. Um, I can like kind of show you a little bit, but. So yeah, we like live on a farm. Um, I guess you're just seeing our backyard, but um, genuinely, it's a big farm, so. Hey, happy pride from Germany for the crust, yes. What kind of bread do you make? Uh, today we made one white, or we made one whole wheat, and we made three white bread. They all turned out pretty well. My dad's mowing the lawn. Um, have you ever made keto bread? No, but I'd like to, or tried it. What kind of, yeah, so yeah. I missed a lot here and I thought you owned a restaurant at this point. No, I wish, oh my gosh. Gluten-free, let me know when you find my brother is allergic to everything. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I've, I, I wanna like learn how to make good gluten-free bread because I've made it before, but it didn't turn out how I wanted it to. Are you going to eat a piece? Yes. My favorite book? Oh, that's a tough one. Okay, my favorite book because I love it is um, the Hunger Games Catching Fire, the second book in the Hunger Games trilogy. The best book I have ever read is probably Atlas Shrugged. Um, I really like that. Is there areas in the farm grounds that dogs aren't allowed? Lily seems like trouble. Um, they're not allowed inside the barns unless we are in the barns. Cause we've got a bunch of like kind of abandoned barns on the property. So they're not allowed in those because they could get hurt. I only know so many recipes for him and they expensive. Oh, <laughs> yikes. My favorite book series is Percy Jackson. I love the Percy Jackson books. They were really good. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan. I'm definitely like a book nerd, you know? Um, so yeah, love the hat. Thank you. Good afternoon, Aaron. Uh, on the barns you set fire to. No, it's not that barn. <laughs> That's a different barn. They're allowed in that one. That one's fine. I'm such a bookworm. I have over 70 books in my collection. Yeah, we have, we have thousands of books. Um, like my family's like properly obsessed, but, um, do you bake other things? Yes. Yeah. I think I'm going to do some cookies. I might even bake them tonight. I might even like just come back on later tonight and bake cookies for you guys. Um, but yeah, I think this is about it. 
I hope you've enjoyed. Here's the last like showing off of the bread. Um, I bake cakes and cookies and all kinds of fun stuff. Last book is about it. I hope you've enjoyed. Here's the last like showing off of the bread. Um, I bake cakes and cookies and all kinds of fun stuff. Last book I read, uh, A Thousand Boy Cakes. I bake cakes and cookies and all kinds of fun stuff. Last book I read, uh, A Thousand Boy Kisses is the last book I read. Uh, we baked bread today, Matt. Heard about Missing Submarine. Yeah, I hope they find it, honestly. Have you read the Heartstoppers books? Yes, I have. Um, records, do you have vinyls? Uh, yeah, I've got some. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna sign off now because the bread is baked and we are gonna have a late lunch.